what was supposed to be Nicole and Tamaya. <laughs> I said I bought them seats. Don't let nobody sit here. Hey guys, Nikki here. Your little auntie, the one that looked just act too young for her age, but I'm still real, real lit. Guys, we are going to Cancun for Christmas. But before we go, you have to hear from our sponsors over at Envoulon. I am going to put the tag up just in case I am pronouncing that wrong. This would be my first time working with this company, but they sent me over three anonymous purple pieces. They was like, girl, you love purple. We love your stuff. Let's do this. And I'm just going to try the three pieces on for you guys. So just remember that I will leave the website, the clothes, and a discount code if I got one below the video to check them out. And I can tell you right off top, the quality of these clothes is A1. A1. Good quality material. So if you want to see what I was sent, let's get into it. So here we have our first number. It is a velvet purple number. Let's adjust it really really thick really really good quality you can wear this like fall and winter it's not so thick to where it's like god awful hot but it is good quality there's a little bit of ruching right here it kind of looked like a wrap dress but it isn't it's very form fitting has a good fit to it here's the side view right here the back is plain and yeah it's just a very cute number so the second number i will be showing you guys is going to look similar to this except the color is going to be different so i'm going to keep this dress in here so i can show you guys the difference just so we're clear this isn't the same dress at all i brought the dress in here that i just took off so you guys could see the difference in the color this is like midnight purple and this is true purple so here's this dress right here same exact material though like the um i want to say velour but like velvet type material it is long sleeve as well it does not have like the faux wrap look to it like the other dress this is the side of this dress right here and the back is plain now what i love about this dress is if you're going to like let me just fix it a little bit better if you're going to like church work or something like that you can wear it perfectly fine like this but there is a button right here that you can let the girls hang out super cute you get what I'm saying like I think I went somewhere recently and I needed to go to two different events so I had to like for one and then for the other and this is perfect you don't have to put a safety pin or anything right here and everything i am showing you guys come in other colors so if purple isn't your thing like i always say how can purple not be your thing you can find these items in other colors as well and i haven't been saying the sizes but each piece has been a size 16. so we're in close so you guys can see the true color right another purple piece this is like a cardigan kimono cover up very versatile you can take these with you on vacation and wear them as a swimsuit cover up you can wear them around the house as like a robe you can pair them with t-shirt and jeans you can pair them with a midi dress it's just whatever you want to do it opens in the front there aren't any buttons or anything and that's the true look i love these i have so many of these in so many different colors because they just come in handy for so many different reasons so guys that's all three pieces i will send i hope you enjoyed them definitely check out those dresses and etc they are bomb like i mentioned before i will link everything below the video along with a discount code if they provide me with one let's move into the vlog we end up solo in cancun on christmas last vlog my wife moved out 
I have a message for you guys. So this is a message I sent my cousin telling her that I was just drained. I needed to get away to a hotel a couple of days or something, turn my phone off. I didn't want nobody to know where I was at. And she was like, just let her know. And then this is the next day when I told her that I changed my mind because I didn't want to do Nicole like that. I didn't want Nicole to worry, stress, or feel any certain type of way. And this is literally a couple of days later, her leaving me. She moved out. So the message I want you guys to know is to always put yourself first. I put my mental health on the line to protect hers, but when it came down to me, there was no protection. Please put yourself first, guys, and that's not a slug against her. I'm just giving you guys a very important message. So let's get on into Cancun. This is the hair that I wore the entire time, but it is its own separate video, so make sure you check that video out. Let's go. Really? Alright guys, as you can see, we're spending Christmas in Cancun, Mexico. Got us a nice little swim up. This was initially supposed to be a family trip, but should bailed out on me for her man, her man, her man, her man. Yeah. 
It is what it is, child. Let's get this party started. Yeah, I really just took my pants off. Of I mean, what's the difference? You see more with a swimsuit. Oops, sorry, y'all. Here my press on toenails I was telling y'all about. Y'all was like, what press on toenails and don't they look good? French tip. Them feet ugly, but the toenails look good. Got some complimentary. I can't even see. We against the... There we go. Who gonna drink this? Brew. Sparkling white wine. Look how I'm watching the Capitalists game. Right from the balcony. <laughs> Took me a quick shower with their soap. Put on one of their robes. Because it is 5.57 and I still don't have luggage. Child. I need some pants. Or something. All right, guys. So I finally got my luggage. I unpacked. I just brought the same thing that I usually bring on every trip because that stuff stay packed. I brought a lot of Chris Collins scents. I brought some Jeffrey Spencer oils, some samples of some perfume I've been wanting to try. Mahi collection sent over accessories for me to wear, so you will see them throughout the whole entire video. I brought some purses. I even bought a beach bag. Um, brought a beach bag, but the hotel provided one. They provided house shoes, some shades, one of those pair of shoes I could have left at home. And you guys know I used the over the closet rack for my clothes. And yeah. All right, guys. So I'm unpacked tonight. I'm gonna put on this the last of this Chris Collins Lost in Paradise. Mm. Very fitting for the occasion. And that's it. I wish I had more time to get to that. Until. Samantha. That lace gonna get cut out. Love me tonight. Just decided to put on this little green number from Shein, so I didn't have to do much. These two reverse slides and a little straw bag. Going to Hibachi. <laughs> so just it has like a pattern where you can't tell if it's wrinkled. And I don't feel like ironing or steaming. So let's go. Thank you. 
Show y'all that Christmas decorations. I'm a little tipsy. Y'all know I don't drink no more, but baby, life been life. And I said, baby, I'm gonna go drink. I get sick, I just be in that room. If you guys haven't peeped it by now, I'm at the exact same place I was at for Monet's wedding. When I came for the wedding, I didn't get to enjoy myself at all. I didn't even get to go to the beach or nothing. But I love the resort. So I said, let me just go back for Christmas. And <laughs> Baby, that hibachi was too good. Too good. Well, guys, I'm gonna wind down for the night because I didn't get no sleep. I got two, I got an hour in the car at the airport, probably 30 minutes at the airport, two hours on the plane. Oh, yeah, I did get some. And the sleep I just got before I went to Hibachi. So, it's Christmas here, actually. So, everything shut down, child. Ain't nothing to do. No parties, no fall parties, no nothing. They said, go to bed. Go to bed. Chris Collins was definitely on point. I brought all of these travels to try. Here's a... Another one. Um, instant crush and the same Kylie I've been holding on the twelve last twelve vacations, y'all. And this time from Jeffrey Spencer, I brought this, which is something berry, blossom berry, which smells like bubble gum and berries. If this is your cup of tea, I actually, I'm actually out of opaque rose. And this is my custom blend that I had made, which was a mixture of baccarat and so it was a mixture of baccarat and this scent right here and then i added gentle fluidy gold to it as well when i got home the oil so i have been wanting this and rita sent this to me for my birthday in a bag with samples this is prada intense paradise intense i did not like the regular one but i think i like that one so we're just gonna see About to go to the beach. Don't look like there's many people here, honestly. Can't tell y'all. Say that everybody in their room recovering from last night or something. Just some um, skin tint, which I can't even really tell if it's on my good. Not much like conceal that. Alright guys, today so this is just a quick something. Just to have something on in case I decide to take pictures. Look a little dark down. Um that Chris Collins last night performed well. I think I said that, so today I'm going to try. <laughs> um some of these want nothing citrus. I'm not a citrus person. A long kiss goodnight just seems like it's gonna be really this is African rhubarb. I'm gonna try this today. It's already in here. 
be right back. These are those Amazon shades. Ooh, gotta be careful spraying my leg because I cut myself shaving. They're like Bottega dupes. I'll link them below. She in swimsuit. It has this cute little tail detailing right here. I think I showed it to you guys when I hauled it. And this cover up has pearls as well. Ooh. This is a little masculine for me. This is a little masculine for me, so I'm gonna mix it with something. This is citrus. Been trying to get rid of this, y'all. This is two cruises ago. A cruise way in June. Let's go. And I did put these Tory Burch sandals like this back on. Headed to the beach. Oh. Ah, excuse me. To the beach. Trying to get there. Oh, everybody out here today, what they about to do? Oh, hold on, y'all. We got be right back. Here's my beach view. If y'all can see, because I can't see nothing. Got a little snowman over there. They about to do something, y'all. Maybe I should stay up here and see what's about to happen. Stripper Hills. Girl, and them stilettos, pumps, in the club. Well, let me move so I don't be in all these videos. Gracias. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm, same to you. Now I got. Oh. He's trying to get in there with the women, y'all. Look at him. Look at him. Too. He want to sit on Santa lap, y'all. Indeed. <laughs> so I went and got my picture with Santa and the girls and I hate them. I hope I find a good one. It's like really windy so my hair was blowing out of my face. So I was trying to move the wind and the beach ain't that cute y'all. This damn new look like Galveston walk. I mean ain't nothing cute about it. Y'all can see. It's not blue at all. <laughs> or a I mean literally this looks like I'm in Galveston. This is the holiday drink. I don't know who all these other drinks is. It's whoever just left. I don't know who all those other drinks are. It's whoever just left from sitting right here. And, um, yeah, like I was saying, like, I didn't get to see any of this when I was here for the wedding. The only time I came to the beach, I had to run down here and give a uh, Molly Bay some flash or lip gloss or something. I don't remember. Other than that, I didn't even see the beach when I was here for the wedding. So I'm gonna try to give me some better photos. They still over there. That, girl, they got on stilettos on this beach. They about to sit down. They right here. They just chilling. I need to go get my pictures over, huh? Yeah, let me tell y'all something. This water, baby, I should have. I could have just went to Galveston. If I want this doodle brown stanky ass water, I ain't never been to Cancun and my water look like this. Like what? I smell good though. I smell real good. Oh, I smell so good. I said in Santa Lapa, he put his hand over his um his nose. And I was like, ooh, you doing that like I stink. He was like, no, I'm doing it like, oh my gosh, you smell good. Child and do. Now I'm gonna go rinse out, baby, because a drink if y'all didn't see it good. Go rinse my feet out because let me go rinse my feet out because baby, I be watching too much TV 
and this man had this flesh eating bacteria that took his toes because he shaved before he got in the beach. I'm not playing. Come on, press on toenails. Not budge. I mean, I'm going back to the sand, but I just need to wash that beach water off of me. Woo, my legs burning because I shaved. Oh my gosh. I ain't even drunk that. That was watered down though. Big time. All right, guys, so I changed into this cover up so I can. Let me see, because the light is really bad right here. <laughs> so, guys, what I'm about to do is bottle paint. Let's go. Uh -huh. He said we on our own. Yeah, there we go. It must be Miss Donna doing a little. <laughs> we don't have a sketch. Nothing. He gonna give us some ideas. What's your name? David. I'm David. David. You got it. Some of these people don't give a dang about no rain. They just sitting out here in the rain eating. Right there. Got their little wine. Right there. They just like, oh well, it's just water. All right, guys. I got to make sure I'm at a good angle because I decided to go skinny dip the chair. Why not? So don't resort. Y'all should see what's on the TV. <laughs> Yeah, I can see what's on the TV. But, um, I just want to give a lot of you guys thanks for all of the positivity under my last vlog. Not my last video, my last vlog. Um, it was full of positivity, and I did ask him to come in no negativity because who, knew, who needs negativity right now? Uh, but I do want to address a couple of things because I think a lot of you guys, um, you're internalizing things a little bit more than I am. When I said that Nicole left, there was real, wild reaction. And it's been 
over a week now and everything you know makes sense but clearly when I hopped on camera that one day like I had literally just got done helping her put her stuff on the U-Haul like I literally helped so of course I was like why now and when I'm at my lowest but actually I'm not at my lowest I'm going through a troubling time but I'm, I'm not at my lowest you know what I'm saying um, never never feel like somebody can dictate that much of your life to where you feel like if they gone you at your lowest or this not good timing because you're at your lowest also also there is a lot of um this was plotting it wasn't it wasn't if you notice the clip before i said i was supposed to go do christmas stuff and i let and didn't do all nothing that saturday me and nicole have been to it that whole saturday and i was just like if we go keep on first and just get the hell out and that's what she did now <laughs> granted i feel like you could have said okay well yeah i will just leave i didn't have to roll over to her leaving but i said it she did it <laughs> And there's a lot of take a break. It's always a take a break, y'all. I know the cameras make it seem like we just be on camera non-stop, but we don't. Out of a seven-day week, 24 hours a day, y'all probably see an hour of all of that. So, my mental was so messed up because I was trying to figure out why Nicole wasn't helping me at my lowest. If you really want to know the truth, because her mental state is genetic, right? It's a chemical imbalance. My mental state is a storm, and I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. She couldn't. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I was just like, why aren't people helping me more? Why aren't people helping me more? And so that's what was making me feel so low. Now that I realize it's not up to anybody else to help me and get me out of a bad space mentally, I'm in a much better head space. It's like health wise and everything, I feel better already. So, um, I just wanted to clear that up because people were saying check into a mental facility or retreat and all that. Girl, I am not that low. I'm not that low. And I told y'all a million times, and me and Nicole decided to separate, I would be 100% fine with that. <laughs> That's still gonna be my nigga. She's still my nigga. We still talk all day, every day. She gone. It's just a big adjustment. I've been, it's a pattern for 14 years, and I just need to get out of that pattern and tweak some things, but I'll be okay. I just didn't like the sudden, subtle, sudden, what is the word I'm for? I just didn't like me sleeping, checking my emails, and you knocking on the door to your family in a U Hive. I feel like I deserved more than that, but since I've talked to Nicole, she didn't even know they was coming. So please don't ever think, I hate to take up. No, I don't hate to take up for her. That was my wife for 14 years and that is a very good person. She didn't even know they was coming, y'all. She called her uncles and said that we got into it. I told her why she just won't get the heck out and asked them if she needed to move, how soon could they be here? And they was there soon. Was it dramatic? Yeah, but if your child is out of town and call and say, you, say that to you, you go run to them. So, um, it's just a um, transition, and I'm not wishing the marriage back on us or none of that. I'm just wishing both of us can find the happiness that we once gave each other. So, girl, the rain don't settle down. It's going to settle down, baby, because I'm trying to go to the French cuisine tonight. It's actually really peaceful though. They they beach is horrible. Like, girl, I was literally gagging. Let me show y'all this picture. <laughs> when the water touched me, baby, I, baby, I was gagging because baby, baby, this water too dirty. I feel like I'm at the lake in Oklahoma. Literally gagging. Got me some egg rolls. Y'all know I am obsessed with egg rolls and some nuts. Y'all know them nuts gonna push that bowel down. We need to go every day, two, three times a day, much as I'm eating. All right, I'm about to go explore the resort because I'm at Secret, but of course, there is full access to 
breathless. And we're done. I don't even think, I think she took this one off the market. This is my least favorite one and I just wanted to use it up. Let's go. Sightseeing. Yeah, I saw employees getting into it. Indeed. I was like, they about to tussle. That's the hot tub. Here's the tree in the sort of kind of daytime. And this. So I'm around on the other side. And uh, this is a hot tub. I remember this from when I was here for the wedding. <sighs> Jingle beats. That's a beautiful view. Everybody in their room. It's rain on our heads. So the French restaurant has an hour wait, so I came to a poolside restaurant on the quiet side, because the French restaurant on the turret side, no wait over here. It's so good. Jamaica. As soon as that pizza got good. 
the buzzer for the French cuisine. Live it up, live it up, live it up. Now I'm gonna give me some salmon. So the pizza was my appetizer, all right? That's my story and I'm sticking to it. schedules today where I ain't shit on it to do. So headed to the buffet to eat. Yoga in a Spanish class. I don't think so. Nope.
Okay. so guys i highly recommend this resort um i didn't get to enjoy a lot of the stuff because it rained almost every day but it was like that miami type of rain where it rained for like 10 minutes and it's clear but absolutely love it would i come back nah <laughs> two times is enough i just wanted to come back and enjoy the stuff i didn't enjoy when I was here for the wedding. I wanted to make it a grand, oh, I'm trying not to cry. Um, family trip, I went all out, swim up, beach view, and yeah. Life don't always go how we want it to go. So I'm waiting on my shuttle, and I'm headed back to the States. Yeah, I remember we was going crazy over there, white henny. Ain't even nothing special about it. make it to the drugstore and they got one in here which probably gonna be higher than if I would have got them off the street hey, but I know they probably gonna make me take this camera off they don't even see nobody in here but they have like prescription stuff that you don't have to get a prescription for she ain't even said nothing to me Gabantina gotta translate this shit They got the good stuff back there. I really don't need nothing. What was supposed to be Nicole? I said I bought them seats. Don't let nobody sit here. 